<laughs> hey guys, Sam here. Welcome back to Swamp Truck Overland. A um, bit of an unusual video for you today. We've been in and out of lockdown for the last few months and with a hard border between here and Auckland has meant that I haven't been able to get away like I usually do. So I had planned to go and do something this weekend, but the weather's been abysmal. Um, I don't know if you can see the flooding behind me. This is um, not too far from home. And it's normally just a little creek down between these paddocks. But it certainly isn't that at the moment. Well, first bit of flooding. It's an ominous sign. If it's across here, and also here at Otonga Road, then where I'm going may not be doable, but... Oh, let's go and see. So far, that's alright. I can drive through that. I'm also running the camera inside today so that it doesn't get wet. And I can control it a bit easier. <laughs> but at least the wipers don't squeak in this thing like they do in the van. These are pretty cool roads out this way. I used to drive them a lot just for the hell of it when I was a lot younger. When I first got my license, my first car, I'd come out here and just drive for the sake of it. This is the 
Right, so this is what I was wanting to show you. And I really need to get myself a better microphone because it's so windy here that you can't hear anything that I'm saying. Um, the gist of what I was saying, however, was this is one of my favourite spots to just come and sit and think. It's awesome on a wonderful sunny day, but even on a wild day like today, it's actually quite interesting just to look at the waves and the wind and the weather and just feel the power of it all. Yeah. A lovely wild spot. I'm getting soaked, so back into the car. You know, I thought the weather had actually broken for a little bit when I left home, but I was only five minutes down the road and it started raining again. Well, I found some flooding, and I think this is as far as I'm going to go down this road. Huh. wonder how deep it is. I might put the gummies on and just go for a bit of a walk. The gumboots are only just going to be deep enough. Yeah. So far it's doable, but I don't know what's around the corner. I think I'm going to do the very unsensible thing and try and drive it. it. Yeah, I'm just going to go through slowly so I can stop and go back if I need to. But we'll see what it, we'll get up to the near close to the corner and it, we'll get up close to the corner and just have a look anyway. Hmm. sensible? No, definitely not. Is it going to get deeper? I hope not. Oh yeah, we're going to do this. See what the I'll get a traffic report. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. What's any anything more up that way or? That way, you're fine. 
Oh yeah, I mean, nah. <laughs> no, it was just, it was touching. No, yeah, I've been through deeper, but it, yeah. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think you'll be, no, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> Have a good one. Oh, well, that was good. People ask me, why do I want to put a snorkel on the Subi? Oh, you know, just reasons. <laughs> wow, this has changed a bit since I was here last. I don't remember all this white stone gravel on here. Limestone, I guess. So just here beside the Funanaki South Road is this waterfall. It's not normally flowing like this. It's a good road too. It's a little bit different to my normal style video. But I'm having fun out here this afternoon even if I am a bit damp now. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Well, this is pretty neat. This is um, Sandy Bay. In this area, which I'm very dodgily parked in the middle of, is a freedom camping area for all types of vehicles and tents even. Maximum one night stay and it's closed over the holiday period, late December through to early February. Which makes sense, this area is swarming with people around that time and they needed all the parking they can get but I'm gonna remember this pop out here and camp a night right by the beach it's almost tempting to get the van and come back here tonight don't think I will though it's actually sort of stopped raining for a few minutes well wow, it's drizzling but compared to what it has been doing. Um, so I'm here at the Tutakaka Marina. I just stopped for a nosy on the way past. It's been a little while since I was here. And it's uh, a surprisingly flash looking marina in effectively the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Alright, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Literally, a good sign. We're allowed up it. The spar is not quite that shape, but nonetheless, <laughs> I'm taking it up it. Um, last time I went there, it was just a pretty good gravel single lane track, just like that. So, it's wet. There are There was a couple of sections that can get quite slippery, so we'll just see what we're in for. An 80 recommended? That's ridiculous. There's no way you can do 80 through there. Maybe on a motorbike, but that's absurd. So this is one of these tracks that you don't want to meet anyone coming the other way. It's also a cycle trail, but given the weather, I don't think I'll meet many cyclists. And hopefully I don't meet any other vehicles. Because passing, you've got to get quite creative.
somebody behind me now, so I want to be not f***ing around with the camera. Oh well. Unless I can find somewhere to pull off. Well guys, thanks for coming along. It was a little bit different to my usual videos. Well, everything was in 50k radius of home, probably less, um, and it was all done in one day. But the weather is just, bleh. it's not too bad at the moment, it's still spitting. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm slowly and surely getting soaked. Um, but I had a good afternoon out, saw a few things. That track that we just saw, the old coach trail, was easy it's just a gravel track which it's mostly for cyclists now anyway and I think that's better suited saw one other vehicle nothing too major but yeah that is it for me today I'm gonna hit the road head back into town grab a few things and head on home thanks again for watching I'll see you next time hopefully before next time in three weeks from this video I will have actually been able to go on a bit more of an adventure something overnight don't know what vehicle yet might even be the surf anyway I'll catch you then cheers well this river's up it's not normally this fast flowing or this high it's normally a meter or two lower I think